Hey guys, it's Briggs from armyofdrummers.com and today we're going to be doing a lesson on linear patterns and we're going to be doing a fill with that as well. Before I get into that, of course I'm going to talk about the website that is launching the first week of January. You can still go on there, but first week of January is when we will be starting all of our new stuff and uh, we will be doing live lessons now, which is great because it's going to be way more interactive. You guys can ask me a bunch of questions in real time and also it's just going to be $9.95 per month and we are also doing a 30-day free trial so with that being said let's get into the lesson now today's lesson like I said was linear patterns but there's a weird thing um, it's not really a beginner lesson or an intermediate lesson because it's one of those things that you know you decide where you want to take it I'm gonna be I'm gonna be starting with like a beginner uh, a beginner pattern and uh, you guys can like just decide how far you want to go with it because you can make it whatever you want it to be. Now, a linear pattern is basically just a group of notes that uh, they just they flow and they don't hit at the same time. So, like for right, left, right, left, right, left. For example, that's a linear pattern because nothing's hitting at the same time. But if you do right, left, right, left, and then a kick in a right hand at the same time, that is not a linear pattern. So the linear pattern that I'm going to be teaching you guys today is uh, it's, it's pretty long, but it is very cool even just by itself. Now, here's the sticking. Kick, right, kick, right, left, kick, kick, right. And here's what it sounds like on the snare. Obviously, it's pretty cool, and uh, I mean, you do want to get used to that, so uh, let's just do that at 60 beats per minute. Sorry, my mic was muted, so that's probably why you didn't hear me talking. But uh, um, obviously, the sticking for that is uh, it's 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 pretty hard for a beginner, but I think you guys can uh, can learn that for now. Uh, so let's just go to 80 beats per minute. are going to go to 100 beats per minute but like I'm gonna say always uh, for the rest of my life probably just don't rush it because when you rush things uh, you're just gonna not learn anything so um, let's go to 100 beats per minute and don't expect this to be easy because it actually is going to be pretty pretty fast
I'm gonna have to get used to it. To uh, unmuting and muting my mic. But uh, that's the uh, just the regular linear, linear pattern. And uh, now we're going to get into a fill. Now the fill is simple, I'll say that, like with where we're placing uh, our hits, but it is very effective when you do it at high speed. Now just because I say that, I don't want you guys to be like, oh, well he said it's really good at high speed, so I'm just gonna zoom right past everything and start at 100 beats per minute. No, still get used to it at 60 beats per minute, get used to it at 80 and then at 100. Uh, maybe even at 120. But basically all we're doing is taking that first right after the kick and we're gonna be moving it right here. And then the last right, you move it to, you move it to the rack tom. So that'll sound like this. Obviously, it's a pretty cool fill, and uh, I honestly might use it after this because it's pretty fun. Um, and that shows you how you know simple linear patterns can be, and how like cool they are. It's it's really the thing that can you can be a beginner and learn it, and people will just think you're advanced. You're really good at fills, and it's kind of you know a dirty little secret because uh, it, it just sounds really really cool. So with that being said, let's go into 60 beats per minute. You may notice even at 60 beats per minute it still sounds really cool so we're just going to go to 80 beats per minute and uh, again if you're stuck at 60 don't worry I've been there before just keep practicing. Alright, now that we've done that, we can actually go to 100 beats per minute, and again, it's going to be really fast, so I don't expect you guys to get this right away. Just keep practicing, uh, just don't rush it, because that's one of the worst things that you can do. Um, I remember when I used to try and learn things that you know were kind of hard and difficult, I would always, always just try to rush it, because I'd get too frustrated, and I'd be like, oh, this is stupid, why am I even going slow anyway? But when you take your time and you finally learn it and you get it down, it just feels way better. So, let's go to 100 beats per minute. <laughs> oh my gosh all right my mic was muted that whole time but that's all right uh, I was basically just saying that uh, you know I was um, 
switching the sticking or not I wasn't switching the sticking at all but I was switching the placement of my right hand I kind of reverse these two and uh, that's basically just to show you that you can move it around anywhere you want and it just it's really cool to add variety to your fills and it's uh, one of the key parts of being a great drummer um, now since we've done that fill we're actually going to move into kind of an extra fill uh, and this is pretty challenging so I I want you guys to do it but again I don't want you guys to rush through this thing uh, but here it is basically all we're doing is taking the rights that we moved around the kit and we're just gonna put it on the hi-hat and uh, so it's like kick right kick right left kick kick right and that's basically it uh, I'll just play it right now So yeah, that's basically it. It's a uh, it's a pretty cool fill, especially if you like blend it into a groove, and it's like kind of don't even know it's there. It just sounds really cool. So uh, let's just do that at 60 beats per minute. So that's it at 60 beats per minute, uh, not a lot to say, let's just go up to 80 beats per minute. Now, since we're going to 100 beats, hold on, let me just put it there. Is that 99? Okay, now since we're at 100 beats per minute, uh, we're actually going to switch things up a little bit. Now, since you repeat that linear pattern two times, we're going to do, um, first thing we're going to do is the first time that you repeat it, we're actually going to change it up and we're going to make the all the other, the, the, the last, open hi-hat we're gonna make that open so the first one is closed and then the last one is open and then after that for our second repetition we're just gonna do uh, the first fill that I showed you so for example So that's basically what we're going to be doing and uh, let's just do that at 100 beats per minute and remember don't rush. So a whole lot went wrong with that, but um, 
It's all right. Basically, what happened was, you know, my hi hat. Well, in the beginning, I was just messing up uh, the order, but um, my hi hat wasn't, you know, like opening and closing all the way. So uh, my apologies. But hopefully, you guys, you know, you know what I'm talking about. I showed you before. Um, but that is basically the end of the lesson. And I just want to tell you guys, you know, um, linear patterns are meant to be built upon because you can take a linear pattern and just take it from beginner completely to advanced. And I'd say that these, you know, this last fill is probably a like middle intermediate. Uh, it, it's very hard. And if you guys can do this, uh, you have a very, very bright future ahead of you. Uh, and um, yeah, you have a lot of potential. So with this lesson being done, I do want to talk about the website. Uh, it will be launching the first week of January, and from then on, it will be $9.95 a month for eight live lessons. And if you sign up, you will get a 30-day free trial. So basically, just you get a month free. Um, and with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next live lesson.